Hello and welcome to today's holiday special episode on the Aviators South Africa, episode 6. My name is Kabir and I'm the host on the show with Warwick. Today on the show we'll be joined by our fellow aviation enthusiasts, Thomas and Devashan. Today on the show we'll be talking about the impact on the 737 MAX grounding. We hope you enjoy this holiday special episode and make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow's episode on Airbus or Boeing in 2021. As well as we are sure the majority of our viewers know in March 2019, the Boeing 737 MAX was grounded worldwide after 346 people died in two crashes. Lion Air Flight 610 on 29th October 2018 and Ethiopian Flight 302 on March 10th, 2019. On now 20 months later, the aircraft is still grounded as Boeing are working hard to solve the problem. However, the FAA recently released the MAX to operating again, and the European agencies will release the MAX to operating in January 2021. So, what is the problem and why did it arise? It appears that the sensor sent wrong information to the flight control system, indicating the angle of attack is too large in approaching stall. So the system steered the aircraft by pitching the nose down to correct the angle of attack. However, the angle of attack was actually correct and the system would force the plane down to the ground, obviously making it crash. Some people reckon Boeing missed the error when building or manufacturing the aircraft because they were in a race to get all the new super fuel efficient Boeing 737 MAX built before the competitor Airbus released their all new super fuel efficient A320 Neo. However, nobody knows how the FAA let this issue through the, their tests. So now on the impact of the crash on various airlines and in general. Well, Southwest Airlines is currently the largest operator of the Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircraft, so they would have obviously had the hardest time as they essentially lost 31 aircraft for an uncertain period of time and would have had to improvise with another aircraft. The Boeing 737 MAX has been approved to return to service in the United States after modifications and pilot flight training have been completed. The European Union Aviation Safety Agency, or EASA, previously reported that the MAX is likely to be released for service in January and has published a proposed airworthiness directive, PAD, signalling its intention to approve the aircraft to return to Europe's skies within a matter of weeks. Critically, the agency says that EASA and regulators in Canada and Brazil worked very closely with the FAA and Boeing throughout the last 20 months to return their plane safely to operations. The EASA proposed airworthiness directive requires the same changes to the aircraft as the FAA, meaning that there will be no additional software or technical differences between aircraft operated in the United States and operators um, and aircraft operated by the EASA member states operators. These include, of course, updates to Boeing software that alter the MCAS function, as well as being able as well as defining new flight training um, for pilots and physical modification to address wire chafing in the stabilizer control circuit. American Airlines are planning to fly the aircraft this month, but unfortunately they had no luck with that and will still have to wait to be, and be patient for it to get properly recertified. Many airlines are probably wondering if some passengers are going to be scared to fly on the aircraft after the two fatal crashes. Ryanair is actually a great example of this because they renamed their aircraft on the fuselage to the 737-8200 not the 737 MAX 8, in order to try to convince passengers. But this has not been carried through and will remain as the 737 MAX 8. We'll have to wait and see what happens with the dreaded Boeing 737 MAX. We hope that you have enjoyed this holiday special episode. Make sure to stay tuned for the rest of the year's videos and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed these videos. Stay home, stay safe and happy flying.